on guys crypto renegade here i know it's been a while i have another crypto hardware wallet first look review for you also you might be wondering where i've been lately i have a brand new channel that i'm working on but i will get into the details at the end of this video so stay tuned you do not want to miss it all right guys welcome back so i in full transparency, was asked to do a review for my friends over at SecUX here. This is a brand new hardware wallet that, as you can see, is currently in the Indiegogo campaign crowdfunding stage. And it's actually very, very similar to the review I did on the SecUX Nifty, which was an NFT-focused wallet to compete with the Ledger Stacks before it came out. And what they've done here is they've taken the form factor, the same security, and they found a way to make the manufacturing and the overall price cheaper to everyone here. And again, this is designed to be a direct competitor to the Ledger Stacks, has NFT support, has a full touchscreen display, has a CCEAL5 Plus security element chip, it supports over 5,000 tokens and coins, including NFTs, using your NFTs as a lock screen, and a lot more. What I want to do on this call is take a quick look on this video and take a quick look at what differences there are. And this is actually pretty affordable. And obviously, links down below if you want to get this currently at 50% off during this campaign. And then I will also have additional deals and things on that later. But the reason I agreed to do this was because SecuX does make really good products. I mean, their last crypto hardware wallet, they released the SecuX Shield Bio, like their card-based wallet. I keep it in my wallet and I use it all the time. It's actually very functional. And not only that, it allows for just on the go, easy transactions. Their app is very smooth. It's easy to navigate. Things are happening and all is well there. So let's touch on a few of the fundamentals here. We'll talk about the security. We'll talk about the price. We'll talk about the coin support with the current deal. So there's two versions of this. There's the, as we saw in the, the video, we have the Neo Gold and then we have the Neo X. So what's the difference? Mainly it's just the uh, the materials that it's made out of. For example, the Neo Gold is gonna be cheaper. Right now at the early bird price, uh, you can get it for $78 US, and the Neo X you can get at $119 US. As you can see, it's normally $119 for the entry level version, or $184 for the larger version. So what's the difference between the two? Mainly the gold one is gold plated plastic, has a very nice finish. And when I get the actual demo in hand, I will do a review of it and full unboxing, all of that kind of stuff. And then the Neo X is a more of a premium metal aluminum material. So it's obviously more durable. It's a little bit heavier, just a higher quality base material. And again, same form factor, same design. One's just obviously to keep the cost down is going to be cheaper to get to you. And the other one is more of a, a durable, uh, very similar to something like in terms of an outer shell like Elapel Titan or Elapel Titan 2, something along those lines. So just wanted to give you that. So let's take a look at kind of what the selling points and the kind of the key details here are. Obviously, they're talking about why why crypto security is so important and how many billions of dollars have been hacked and off of exchanges and how many accidents have been happening in the past couple of years. So it's it's very obvious if you're watching this video that crypto security is, is very prevalent and you need to know what you need to do to keep it safe. Basically, these two, like I said, they're, they're going to have the same overall support. It's just the outer shell uh, form factor and the price that's going to be the main thing here that's important that I kind of want to bring up is this next gen AI crypto wallet. Now, I'll be honest, some of this sounds really good and I'm for it. Other parts of AI, I'm a little bit worried about when, especially when it comes to crypto security, right? Because when you're dealing with AI and you're using all that computational power, the potential long term down the road to have AI be used against you, in my opinion, is extremely high. However, let me go into detail about what this is and why I think this particular application of AI for a crypto security hardware wallet is actually pretty nifty. So weird, weird that I said nifty because their first version of this was the X, a SecuX Nifty, which was their NFT wallet that's currently on sale. You can get it right now if you wanted to for $200. But the AI protection, here's basically all the go-tos, but we'll, we'll touch on the security in a minute. But basically the AI part is for avoiding phishing scams, avoiding perhaps contracts that have been voided or that have security issues. Uh, this could be 
meme coins that you're trying to buy. This could be something that will let you know if a specific contract address has been reported as fraudulent or as a scam. And so what this does is it allows you to use through the mobile application that it integrates with what's called Chain Safer. Basically, it does a Web 2 scam detection, a Web 3 transaction risk analysis, and a comprehensive risk analysis. In other words, as you can see on the screen here, if you're trying to send money to an ERC-20 address, it will let you know if there's any malicious code on the website, if there's been any reported thefts or scams or rug pulls or anything along those lines, which still gives the power back to you. So this is just letting you know, hey, you still have to sign. You still have to authorize this because it's completely offline, but we want to let you know that the address that you put in there to send to has raising some red flag. To me, this is a good extra step to confirm things before you authorize and sign a transaction. So this is the first instance I've seen of any crypto hardware wallet that's integrating AI for the good in terms of allowing you to vet where you're sending your con or sending your Ethereum or sending your BSC or your Solana or even your Bitcoin, whatever. This allows that extra step for you to verify before you sort of blind sign or do anything like that. In a lot of cases, people, when they're sending funds to an address that they're unfamiliar with, they have no idea if it's a scam. They're just kind of rolling the dice and hope that it works. So in this use case, I like it. However, the skeptical side of me is very, we'll call on alert about anything AI to do with my crypto hardware wallet. And I have more videos about how AI is affecting phishing scams, how it's affecting social engineering, all that kind of stuff that's coming in the next couple of weeks. But in this case, this is the first iteration that I can see a valid use case for using AI to help you sign a transaction. Again, the AI is not on your hardware wallet where your private keys are stored. This is just integrated into the mobile app that helps you initiate and sign the transaction with your hardware wallet. That's the main key point that I think that makes this extremely different. Like I said, all in all, if we're comparing apples to apples, this is a direct competitor to the Ledger stacks. As I mentioned in some previous videos, I will personally never use Ledger stacks. I don't trust them. If the channel demands it, I might do an unboxing and a review of it, of what my impressions are and what the usage and the form factor and all that is. But I can already tell you, I'm not gonna put my crypto on it. So I don't know why that would be valid unless you guys simply wanna see it, in which case comment down below, let me know, and I will go ahead and do that for you. Again, covering the security, military grade protection. They're using a CCAL5 plus security element chip, the battery they're upgrading, it's using a Bluetooth, so it's not air gapped, and then also a pin code on top of that for 2FA as well, so that's pretty good. The one thing I do like here is it has tons of coin and NFT and third party wallet support, so like Wallet Connect, basically anything, any dApps, as you can see here, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, BSC, NFTs, and basically over 5,000 coins and tokens, which a lot of crypto hardware wallets do these days. But again, this has that extra AI step, which I think is actually pretty cool. Can't wait to actually get this one in my hands and test it and see how it works. So it does have, is it, is it sort of saying it's AI protection, security element chip, tons of tokens and coins, mobile and tablet connectivity. I know a lot of apps don't work on iPads and things like that, but this one does. And then of course you have a full touchscreen display. You can see what you're signing. You can authorize it. It's big enough to see, unlike those little ledger scroll bars or even the Trezor has the tiny screens. This sort of solves all of that. It's very intuitive, very easy to use because it is the same form factor as the Nifty, which you saw me unbox in a previous video. This is just sort of, they're trying to get the materials cost down, meaning the outer shell, the screen, the overall material cost down so that they can pass on the savings to you. The overall internals, which are important, they're keeping the same. And in fact, they upgraded with the AI protection. So in my in my opinion, this is actually better than the Nifty. It's going to do everything that it does. Plus, it's going to have that AI protection in terms of how you sign or before you sign. Rather, it lets you know if the address you're sending to is shifty or or shady or anything like that but overall i want to know what your guys thoughts are on this basically just to make a long story short here now that we've kind of covered this security wallet check the links down below if you want the deal if you want some discounts definitely want to answer any questions you have about it uh, like i said i will do a full unboxing and I will do a full review when I actually get this in my hands, but it's still in the fundraising phase and they have a working prototype. And once they hit their goal, they're gonna go ahead and release it. Their app is also top notch. I've heard some complaints of people using the app for Elipal and some others that they really just don't like. This one I really do like, it's very intuitive. They've updated it to make it a lot more user friendly. And so that's just kind of my two cents on me knowing and using this while on a regular basis with my SecuX Shield bio that they really are 
are on top of it with updates, UI fixes, UX fixes, and they're very responsive. They're based out of Taiwan. Again, some people don't like their wallets being based out of China. For obvious reasons, some people don't like it being based out of certain parts of the world, especially with geopolitical conflict that's going on. So uh, just keep that in mind. That's where it's manufactured. I want to try to be as transparent as, as possible here. Uh, everything on this is open source, minus obviously the security element chip. So a lot of good things that are coming here. Shifting now, if you want to know where I've been, what I've been doing, make a long story short, I moved out of the Phoenix area. I'm in an Airbnb now and moved up to a small town in the Rockies that has an elevation over 10,000 feet and the population is under 100. So it's a huge adjustment for me. I just moved, kind of getting settled. And so I set, created a new channel that's a little bit different than this. I wanna keep this channel strictly for hardware wallet reviews, security-based reviews, things like that for Crypto Renegade. I started a new channel, which I'm gonna leave at the end screen here for you to take a look at, as well as I'll link it down below in the description called Crypto Renegade Updates. This is just more of a freestyle, unfiltered video that I'm going to do three times a week or more. If you guys like the content, I'll, I'll start producing it daily. But basically, it's just a different version of what's going on actively in the crypto market, security updates, ETFs, meme coins, like all the stuff that people have been asking me for that doesn't quite fit on this channel. Because I want to keep this one dedicated for security, which is my specialty. But we talk about a lot of other developments and things that are going on on that channel. It's brand new. So if you like this channel, I'm sure you'll like that channel. Go ahead and like it subscribe to it, check it out. Let me know your feedback, honest feedback, and I'll start making content more tailored to you. And I'm going to be posting there a lot more frequently. Like I said, minimum three times a week, maybe more if you guys like the content. And I'm just going to leave this one here for new hardware wallets, reviews, crypto security updates, and that kind of thing. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe as well on this channel as well. But again, go check out my new crypto renegade updates if you want to see what I've been working on and what I've been up to. So until then, crypto renegade out.